We just wait for the wave to bring it in. Yeah, so it's quite windy and not much light, so let's do a quick intro here. Dawn bus session, definitely on the lowers on the Clare coast again. There is basically weather window when we have like four or five hours of not much swell, otherwise it's going to get crazy. There is some storm Ophelia coming, there are storms before or after, so uh, this is kind of as good condition as it's going to get. Uh, if I catch something, I'm definitely going to put it here. So the water is all the way down, so I'll just try to get on those, on those ledges basically as far as it's going to be reasonably safe. So starting with this kind of um, fish crazy eel, my version. And we have first fish on. Fuck, okay, the reef me straight away, come on. Oh dear. Oh, I don't want to lose this allure straight away. Okay, I'm out, but also fish is out. Definitely fish on. We just wait for the wave to bring it in. <laughs> nice, a lovely pollock. Nice to actually explore the end of the reef. The waves don't seem too too crazy now, so this might be kind of like a weird chance to get there. It's definitely very fishy, but I don't think what I'm getting is fast, but we'll see. With my curl. <laughs> I I don't want to jinx it but I might regret that choice but hopefully not hopefully I'm not going to freaking snag it but just a few cars around yeah the tide is starting to slowly come in I think I'm like fish on but this is going to help me to answer the question like what is around <laughs> okay yeah, so that's that's why the fish are so excited. So actually, it's not a bass. I'm not going to say no to mackerel. I just don't want to get from this reef right now. Yeah, so just decided to take the lighter rod. This is the Lexa with the 30 gram jigs. What I did yesterday, what I made. I think we have. <laughs> Again, mackerel on, pretty much the first cast. Nice mackie. I think now it's going to be pretty much mackerel every cast for a while. So... I set the other camera actually to do the time lapse on the, on the sunrise. fight like a mackerel. Maybe? I don't know. That wave plus the fish was definitely stronger than I thought. Yeah, I call it almost like a jumbo mackerel. Jesus, you are big. Yeah, let's go a little bit more in. Oh dear.
definitely bigger one. Nice one, beautiful size. Can I go to the proper fish actually on the camera? Probably. Fish. That's a good take too. Thank you for <laughs> be free. Awesome. That was a great, great take. What is the special lure? Yeah, put it a little bit further and
So just back on the light road. I think that was a pollock bite. Yeah, the tide is definitely pushing in, so amazing, amazing conditions. Considering that the next while is going to be completely washed out. Yeah, the waves are building up. Fish fucking on. Unless I snack something. Fuck. Okay. Uh, the line broke. The main line broke. So likely there was just something. Um, maybe it hit it by a stone. I didn't check it this morning. I changed the leaders on both other roads. On this one, I'm. I was like, I'm not going to fish it anyway. Oh well, lesson learned. Small fish on. I don't think we'd get the mackerel on the soft plastic, did we? No, it's a small pollock. Come on, mister, you're going back. Be free. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so just went for a first proper swim. <coughs> Thank God for the next deal of waders, tide and stuff like that. Okay, I'm definitely backing off a little bit. Fuck. I didn't expect those three. Yeah, I didn't expect those three ways to come so closer to each other. And I lost like 100 euros, well, or 200 or 400 euro worth of rules. Yeah, so not a crazy reason to panic. Uh, I broke one of the. Again, just when I saw the swell coming, I was like, it's not good. Hopefully, I'm going to find that. Uh, find that freaking box. It would be pity to lose it. Mm. Uh, fuck. There was the new Pachinko uh, Samson. Kind, kind of like a few different lures. Almost like the top lures I have. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Not the first one, not the last one. I think. Is it white pink? No. It's not that. Oh, it is. Fuck. I, I didn't mind kind of going <laughs> almost like neck deep for this one. At least I know the jacket what I'm using is, is okay when it's submerged. Okay, fuck, this was lucky. To be one of those crazy sessions. Oh. What is crazy is uh, I didn't get much water inside the jacket either, so... Okay, let's keep fishing. I just, I just will not go that far, that's for sure. No kind of exposure reef, especially when the storm is coming. Yeah, so I cannot believe how lucky I am uh, with the wave. Yeah, similar, similar take than like before, I think. It's just bigger pollock outside on the reef. Yeah, this lure is mangled for sure. Fish for heavy rod and definitely heavier lure. Go to water, stuff like that, leave you a refreshment, let's keep going. Uh, I think it's just the big pollock and same that massive fish was more than likely just just some 10 pounder. Uh, so brand new crazy eel. Let's keep going.
so let's move to other spot. It's a crazy shallow water. Beforehand, I would more than likely I would never ever ever fish spot like this. Yeah, so fishing definitely did slow down. Uh, now I'm just going to try one more spot, and if nothing, guys, thanks very much for watching. One of the one of the crazy sessions you remember for sure. I'm definitely going to, or I already more than more than likely did put the footage of that first take uh, or first fish on the camera. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Fish on. Absolutely have no idea what we have. Crazy wind. And we had another fish on, unfortunately it shook the hook. Uh, yeah, now actually the knowledge where the weeds are and it's going to be quite helpful. Well, not like this, <laughs> just casting straight into the weeds. Just a bus, not just a bus around. 